so let's download oh no we've got one dependency for fluxbox I am lib download that okay it's on source forge See if Fluxbox is yeah, let's download that one as well. That's it. <clears throat> so that's I am lib. Fluxbox as well. So I need to wait for both of them, or at least Fluxbox. <coughs> okay, so let's go into the BLFS again. I am lib. And just copy and paste the commands of this package. There's no extra options given. And now I'm going to install the package. And that's it. So I'll tidy that up. And mark that off chapter f 25. I am lib is complete. So now we can actually install Fluxbox. So we've got a sed command. And then we configure and build the package.
Okay, it's built, so now I'm going to install it. Make install, and that's done. Um, this configuration, so let's um, clean up first. Oh no, actually, I better stay in there while I do the rest of this. Um, Yes, it says if Fluxbox is the only window manager you want to use, you can start it with the next in it RC file. So that's basically what we've been doing with uh, TWM, but we don't want that now. We want the um, desktop manager to control it. So as you can see, if you remember, this is where I copied and modified this X sessions file, created one for TWM. So now we're actually creating or using, oops, the one for Fluxbox, so it means that Fluxbox should appear in the menu options, so we can choose between Fluxbox and TWM. Um, if you didn't install GDM or LightDM in user, then change that command to fit the prefix you chose. Right. I presume it's talking about these X sessions. Um, so now it's going to create some Fluxbox configuration files. And this is for the user. Um, I imagine these user ones could be put in scale <clears throat> and then they would be copied when a new user is created. <clears throat> to generate an application menu, you may wish to run Fluxbox generate menu minus H in order to choose any user options then issue okay so I imagine that's a help option so generate user menu with what options can we choose Try the minus K and minus G. I don't know if they'll work because we haven't got KDE or GNOME yet. So it seems to have worked. Uh, it worked. Alternatively, copy a pre generated menu. Okay, that might be the best thing to do actually. So let's do that. If you want to use an image as your desktop background, copy the theme you like into Fluxbox and add a line to correct. So use the correct image and follow the command, change the name of the theme you want and change to point the actual. Well, I'm not going to bother running that because I won't be using Fluxbox, but um, obviously, if that's something you want to do, <coughs> you can. So, what I should do now is close down the browser. I'm going to come out of TWM quit go back in as root and do an init 5 and that should bring up the login again which it has uh, under the desktop we should have Fluxbox we have so I'll select that and log in to kernel text and there is the space the menu you get by right clicking the desktop and as you can see it has created uh, a little menu for us you can just right click uh, right click and then left click on any of these to get that application to load and as you can see it seems to work absolutely fine I'll just try a few more of these apps that we've built make sure they run let's try the midnight commander yeah. So graphics, we've got GIMP, let's see if we can load that up. Yeah, that's fine. And let's try X clock, that's fine. Let's try one of the... Okay, so interestingly... 
um, LibreOffice hasn't appeared in the office menu so that would have to be loaded or added separately um, there's some configuration here some tools as well so I'll just quickly load uh, one of these office ones make sure that runs yeah that's fine should be able to run LibreOffice from the terminal as we did previously as it's not in the menu and yeah you can see it's working fine so that all works very well so I'm going to quit this exit all of these Okay, and I'll shut this down. Um, exit. Okay, that's that's worked. I'll go back to my virtual terminal one, and I'm going to switch back to init run level three. Log out and go back into kernel text and carry on in our. Um, basic t -dining. The only reason I'm doing this is because everything's set up. Um, I don't have to keep, if I log out to try something else, I don't have to keep readjusting the windows or anything because I don't believe these simple window managers actually retain settings. They may do, but um, they're less likely to. So that's FluxFox. I've marked that off in chapter 27. Close that down and go on to ISWM now.